Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can change the logo in Laravel JSTeam. So for changing the logo, this logo, uh, first of all you need to go to Laravel JSTeam installation page and in the installation page if you go down, you will see a text application logo and over here you can see a comment over here PSP addition vendor publish tag JSTeam views. So we need to copy this command and if we just write this command in our command prompt and if we press enter then what it will do is that uh, here let me just show you here if we go to the resource folder and inside resource we have the view folder and inside view you can see there is no vendor folder over here right so if we just run this command in our command prompt it will create a vendor folder in our views folder okay so we'll just copy this command ctrl c and we'll paste it in our common prompt and we press enter and there you can see a vendor folder is created inside our view folder so right now if you go to our project and here you can see in the view folder we have a new folder called vendor so inside vendor we have the jsteam folder and if you go inside jsteam you will see a folder called component then inside component folder, uh, you can see a lot of things. Here you can see application logo, application mark, blade.php, and here you can see application card logo. So we'll directly go to application card logo over here. And over here you can see anchor tag and a SVG. You can give your image over here, your logo image over here. So for it, uh, what we are going to do, okay, let me just uh, remove this. And right now, if we now save it, then if we just refresh over here here you can see the logo is gone so inside it we are going to keep our image so for it let me just go inside my uh, project public folder so i'll go i'll go inside the public folder our project and here i'm going to create a folder called logo that's our folder name will be logo and inside this folder we are going to keep our logo so i have already choose the image uh, which will be this one let me just copy this and let me just show you the image which will be this one so i will paste it inside the logo folder so right now here we have the anchor tag so inside the anchor tag what i am going to do is that i am going to mention the image tag then inside the source i will give to second bracket then i will show here as a to first bracket to single quotation and then we are going to mention the uh, folder name which is logo then we'll first give over here slash logo then slash and our image name is webcell.png so we'll say webcell.png so right now if we save it okay let's just mention the width for the image let's say width will be 200 let's save it then if we now refresh here there you can see our logo over here so we'll see the same logo in our registration page as well if we go to registration page here you can see and if we, we can also click the logo because we have it inside the anchor tag okay so right now let me just log in uh, here i'm going to say yamin and give the password here you can see this is our dashboard and over here you can see the logo over here and over here as well so right now let's say you want to change this logo and so for it what you have to do is that we'll uh, we need to go to the inside the component folder you can see application mark dot plate dot php right so we'll just remove whatever is written over here and if we now save it then if we refresh there you can see the logo is gone so right now we are going to just copy this and paste it over here and if we save it now then refresh here there you can see we can we have the logo over here and here you can see we have another logo over here so if you want to remove this as well then this time you have to go to application logo dot blade dot php so right now i'm going to remove everything and paste this over here save it and if i now refresh the image will, will be over here if i now refresh there you can see web cell written over here so this is how you can change logo in Laravel just team. I hope this tutorial was useful to you and if you have any question you can always let me know in the comment section and if this video was helpful please like this video and subscribe this channel and I will see you in the next tutorial.